The following presentation of the Monty Mann's Meditorials is brought to you by Kurt and Debbie Palmer, Roger McDermott and KHLT Recovery Broadcasting. To subscribe to this as well as any of our shows, visit our website at take12radio.com. And now, here's the Monty Man with this week's Meditorial. Well, greetings, my friends. I am your host, the Monty Man, on this week's Monty Man's Meditorial, entitled, The Meaning of Blessing. Now, I'd like to thank my friend Erica for posting on social media what I'm about to share with you. Now, in reference to the meaning of the word blessing, there are several definitions according to the English language Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary. Whew, that's a mouthful. Here's three. Blessed, made holy or consecrated. Blessed, endowed with divine favor and protection. Blessed, bringing pleasure or relief as a welcome contrast to what one has previously experienced. Well, the Greek definition of the word blessed comes from makaros. This describes a believer as being in an inviolable position for receiving God's provisions or favor, as being an extension of His grace. So, when are you blessed? Well, Erica, thank you for sending this in, and let's look at this for a second. When are you blessed? You're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and His rule. You're blessed when you feel you've lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are, no more, no less. That's the moment you find yourself proud owners of everything that cannot be bought. You're blessed when you've worked up a good appetite for God. His food and drink is the best meal you'll ever eat. You're blessed when you care. At the moment of being careful, you find yourself cared for. You're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind and heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. You're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. That's when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family. You're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution The persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. Not only that, count yourselves blessed every time people put you down or throw you out or speak lies about you to discredit God. What it means is that the truth is too close for comfort, and they're uncomfortable. You can be glad when that happens. (laughs) Even give a cheer. For though they don't like it, God is blessed by it. And all heaven applauds. And know this, that you are in good company when you receive persecution. After all, the Lord's prophets and witnesses have always gotten into this kind of trouble. Well, my friends, in closing, may I just say thank you to my friend Erica for posting this. It has truly blessed me, and I hope you as well. If you'd like to comment on this and our other meditorials or any of our recovery Focus shows, please send us an email to take12radio at comcast.net. That's T-A-K-E, the number 12, radio at comcast.net. And don't forget to subscribe for fun and for free on any of the podcasting platforms listed at take12radio.com on your internet dial. Until our next broadcast, this is the Monty Man, and I am wishing God's perfect serenity for you. This has been a broadcast of KHLT Recovery Broadcasting and the Take 12 Recovery Radio Shows.